it's time for our rapid fire. Some quick hits here around the, the different sections. Keys. It's starting section two. Manheim Central's traveling to Ephrata. Ephrata doesn't have a, a win yet this year. Who are you taking? Uh, uh, shockingly, I'm going to take the Barons in this one. Uh, yeah, th this is one of those games you just can't sugarcoat. I mean, Effort is at the bottom of the league in most categories. Yeah. Central's up near the top. Uh, I don't see the starters playing very long for Central, but I see it being pretty lopsided. I like the Barons here. Central's last three opponents, Ephrata, CV, E-Town, maybe not in that correct order. They might be mercy rolling their last three their, games. Their last three opponents are 2-19 and 19 ooh, overall. So, ooh. yeah, Central's in cruise control from here on out, I Interesting think. Interesting stat. Rest of the section, too. Lebanon going to Conestoga Valley. CV's won two in a row. Can they beat the, the Cedars? Yeah, um, Lebanon is, you know, they, they, they're capable of putting up numbers all the time, but their defense is not so great. Uh, they've actually been outscored 282 to 189 this year for as oh. good as their offense has been. Uh, and their defense isn't the best, but CV's offense probably isn't going to be able to do enough damage, right. you know, to, to win a game in a shootout. And I think that's how you, you know, if you don't, if you can't shut down Lebanon completely, yeah. you got to win it in a shootout. So, yeah, I like, I, uh, I like Lebanon here. Okay. E-Town's going to Solanco. Solanco's looking for the first win also. Do they get it against the Bears? I don't think so. Solanco's uh, they've lost 11 straight games Ooh. now going back to last year. That's the longest active streak mm. in the league. And they have the league's worst offense. They're averaging 174 yards per game. You know, E-Town's not spectacular, but they're solid, and I think they'll win here. Jump down to Section 1. Well, jump up to Section 1 in this case. Warwick is going to Penn Manor. That's a pretty good game. Warwick started off with a, forgetting the year. I thought they were going to they, they look like they'd be a good team, but they're struggling right now. 3-4, and 1-3 and three in the section. Penn Manor, 3-1. and one. Yeah, and they're, they're only a game behind Wilson in the Section mm -hmm. 1 race, and they get Wilson in, in Week 9. So okay, this, big you know, game. You could look at it and see, see a trap game here, yeah. but... You know, I'm looking for a big night for Penn Manor's Charlie Bell. He had 258 yards and four touchdowns last week in their win over Manheim Township. You know, I, I think he's going to have a, a big night again. And if he doesn't, they got another good back in the backfield, Levanta Jones. Hmm. Penn Manor's solid. They're a good team. I think they're going to win here. Good. This could have been your spotlight game, you told me. Hemfield yeah. going to Lancaster Catholic. Hemfield's 4-3, and 2-2. Two and two. Catholic, 3-4, three 3-1, and four, three and one, coming off a tough loss to Wilson. They played pretty good in that game. Yeah, they gave Wilson their hardest battle of the season. They lost 24-17. It was a good game throughout. Very competitive. Yeah, Catholic's a different team now that they have Evan Purvis at quarterback. Sure. In, he's been there four games. They're averaging just under 400 yards a game during that mm -hmm. span. So they're pretty good. Hemfield, you know, their offense is solid. Their defense is solid. This should be a very good competitive game. Probably one of the better games of the week, if not the best. I'm uh, I'm leaning Lancaster Catholic here. Like I said, I think they've been hot since they've gotten mm -hmm. Purvis, and they're coming off that good performance against against Wilson and a losing effort. Yeah, I think the Crusaders are going to win. Interesting, Wilson. Stay with Wilson for a second. They're going to travel to Mannheim Township. Wilson seven zero four zero in the section. Streaks need this win. Yeah, they do. Uh, the, you know, they're looking to try to get into the Quad A playoffs mm -hmm. in, in District Three. Wilson's won 40 straight Section 1 oh, games now. They've, it's been five years since someone else beat them uh, for a section title. Last team interesting to, interesting enough was Mannheim Township. That was back in 2009. That was when the Streaks last won their Section 1 title. Okay. Not going to happen this week, though. I think Wilson is just rolling, and I, I like them to continue that here. I'm going Wilson. Interesting. Cedar Crest is coming to McCaskey. Neither one of these teams are playing real well right now. Who do you yeah. like? Uh, Crest has one of the league's worst defenses, yeah. or, uh, second worst in the league, in fact. Uh, 389 yards per game. Problem for McCaskey is they can't score. They're mm -hmm. uh, the league's lowest scoring team. They're only averaging 8.1 a game. Yeah, I like Cedar Crest here. Okay. Section 3, let's look at it here. Anvil Cleona playing Peckway Valley. Uh, Peckway Valley 0-4 in the section. They're starting off so strong, three straight wins. What's going on yeah, here? Yeah, they're facing a hot team here, too. I mean, you look at Anvil's record, they're 2-5. and five, But, you know, they've won two in a row. Four of their first five losses were by single digits. So yeah. they were competitive the whole way through. Now they've got some momentum, and I think they continue it here. Peckway Valley's struggles are going to keep moving on keep here. Keep going like on. The Little Dutchman. Okay. Elko's traveling to Columbia. Who do you like in this matchup? Uh, Elko's coming off a 59-20 win over Northern Lebanon on Monday night, and yeah. Cameron Strauss was huge in that one. He had 140 yards on the ground, five yeah. touchdowns, and he took an interception back for a nice. touchdown. all-around so player. Yeah. Elko does have one of the league's worst defenses, but when their offense is putting up numbers like that, they can play with anybody, and I think they're going to go into Columbia here and come out with a win. Interesting. Garn spot, 5-2, and 1-2 and two in the section, which is surprising, oh, yeah. against Northern Lebanon, 2-5, two 2-1 and five, two and one in the section. Yeah, this, is, uh, this game is the best offense in Section 3, or, yeah, I'm sorry, the best defense in Section 3 against the worst offense in Section 3. Garden spot's 
very solid defensively. Mm -hmm. Northern Lebanon's coming off that 39-point loss to Elko. I think Garden Spot will uh, have the momentum here and come away with a win. We have one uh, non-league game to talk about. Schuylkill Valley traveling to Donegal, and Donegal's been on a roll 5-2 and two overall right now. Who yeah, Schuylkill like? Valley, they, they come out of uh, Section 2 of the Berks League. They've lost three in a row now. Donegal's mm. won four in a row, and they are a different team when they're at full strength. Uh, they had Chris Trimby banged up. He's one of their best running backs. Mm -hmm. He was hurt for a lot of the early season games. He's back now, and they are just roaring on offense. Schuylkill Valley's not great against the run, and that's Donegal's strength, so I think Donegal's going to roll here. Going to roll big. Okay. Tune in every week to catch Keith's predictions here on Lancaster Online.